Hello, I hope you're doing well. Welcome back to more Fortnite news. Of course, going to break down some of the results for this past weekend, that being the Katowice event, although more so being talked about than the results and some players who have stood out so far throughout 2019. Unfortunately enough, the drama around this event. Of course, our latest patch out there bringing a slew of audio issues with it. I do want to share with you very briefly, a lead tech designer from Epic has first responded on Reddit saying a lot of those issues should be fixed coming sometime soon. So that should be resolved very shortly. Unfortunately enough, with that last patch, along with the audio issues, a lot of sound issues as well revolving around some new gun sounds that people either hate or love it seems and along with that very lastly some brand new locations which have screwed over a few teams out there and pairings that of course being mostly the liquid boys out there who certainly did not show up too much Tom a little bit in solos besides that though a very lackluster event yet again for the liquid boys uh, poach and chap also included in that um, as well unfortunately enough for the organization definitely being hit hardest so far with this latest update it's kind of sad to see that also TSM myth having his worst play Placement of all time for solos in 92nd place. We've seen a lot of big surprises though, especially with our last two to three events. A lot of top tier players out there placing outside top 50 with the RNG seemingly very, very much hitting and hitting very strong this year so far. It is one organization though sticking out from the rest, that being Ghost Gaming, who is certainly in my books right now a clear favorite organization of 2019 thus far. This tournament alone, five players placed inside the top 10 teams for the duos event, along with that though some great placements out of the ghost boys especially bizzle coming in yet again very consistent player so far throughout solos and duos let's break down a few of the results but in the back half of the episode we're going to talk about what most of you guys are talking about the several issues that came with katavice and there were there were a lot of them but like i said before it was those five ghost guys actually placing into the top 10 for the duos event arguably the the more important event of this Saf alongside nrg zayt coming in first place demo and bizzle come in fourth bizzle actually having back-to-back -back fourth place finishes across solos and duos and then camo and Issa still very consistent inside your top 10. When we look across both events out there I like to see which players are very consistent across both solos and duos. It's going to definitely going to be the winners overall this weekend and I could have missed a few players out there of course but NRG Zayt a seventh place in solos a first place in duos. Bizzle back to back fourth places for him. We also have Skite and Animal. Skite went fifth and sixth Animal goes sixth and seventh but the overall winner uh, no really of course no big surprise here that's going to be Vinny the newly signed TSM man himself already proving himself to be the best land performer for this organization. He places first in solos and third in duos. Although I will say one thing, his insults of Aim Hero and his partner for actually going in on their drop several times and trying to contest their drop, it was not needed, especially when you have a partner in Zexro who has had an interesting past month of Fortnite, we could say the very least. If you guys have not seen videos out there about Zexro and some of the things he has done competitively in Fortnite, he is probably the last person I would think would be trash talking about just taking someone else's drop when it's going to be highly contested no matter what. There's not too many places people know to go anymore with these recent changes would be my defense of that. Yes, you can argue both ways, but either way, Vinny looking like the player of the week this past weekend alongside him, Bizzle, and then again, a lot of the ghost guys just looking deadly consistent. But unfortunately enough, like I said prior, most of the stuff we're actually talking about was not the actual results, but the bugs, the lag, the actual unfortunate circumstances many of these pro players had to face at Katowice. Also mentioned previously, the first of which was the audio issues you know this update was re released 72 hours before the event did start we have unfortunately I, I'm so surprised every time I actually cover this stuff we have seen it time and time and time again I believe probably the fifth time now a big update releases a few a few days if not a day before a big event and there's some big problems with the update and therefore the players who are at the big event have to suffer the consequences it, it's pretty insane this one being a huge map change and huge audio issues so you feel bad for liquid guys you feel bad for the entire party of people who actually travel to the event to experience these sound uh, and cue issues inside the game itself. Um, along with that though, we actually had Zay kind of tweet out a little bit of a joke and that terms of course hitboxes with characters. As far as we know, it's pretty negligible the difference between male and female characters. Although it's actually Cloaksy clarifying some skins were banned from the event, which I would say that's pretty great. Although I will say it does prove that not all skins are created equal and there were certainly probably some skins in this event that were played that have some type of advantage. Otherwise, why would they be banning them? On his way back. He was on his way back to his friend to pick him up. Storm Surge starting to tick. Like, did you imagine you get the banana skins? Yeah, dude, that, uh, well, some that would be a disaster. Some skins are disabled. Seconds, uh, oh, some damage. are disabled? Yeah, some are like the lead agent disabled. And this comes, of course, with the latest update bringing the banana skin. We've already proven and seen videos out there. The hitbox is certainly not the same for the banana skin as it is for other skins out there. There's still a debate of female skins being slightly, slightly, slightly advantageous compared to male skins, although it's been proven that hitboxes are, are 
borderline the same. There are certainly some skins out there that are not created equal and have some, some minimal advantages out there. So it's great to see ESL actually banning some of those skins, but we could argue that not all those skins were actually banned. Now on top of that though, other clips out there includes Marky, him and his partner. Actually, Marky did go down during the event and it's very, very obvious by the clip I'm about to show you guys, he becomes immortal. Um, it's actually Slinkin and his teammate uh, Stompy trying to finish him multiple times throughout this clip. He actually cannot be finished. Later on, he was actually, that being Marky, rezzed up and he goes on to kill Slinkin and Stompy. I apologize if I mispronounced their, their guys' names, but a terrible bug to have during a big event out there, which definitely actually changed the outcome of the other players, that being Slinkin and Stompy. Loco, escúchame. Estuve bugueado, loco, estuve bugueado. Me, 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 que se bugueado. What the fuck? <risa> que no me quita vida. Mátalo, 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 que me geneas, eh. Pero como se bugueas, tío, cabrón. Then most notable, I'm sure you guys heard about this. It was Cloaks. He was doing a viewer party of this, and I'm sure he's very, very glad he didn't actually go to Katowice along with many other pro players out there. This time around, a huge bug. It was Nicky Merckx actually lagging out of the last game. Going to be a pretty crucial round for a lot of players out there. Maybe not Nick, not having a great event, but he still, nonetheless, he lagged out, which calls for a remake in most pro situations, right? Although, according to Cloaksy, he does clarify for these big events, exclusively going to be Secret Skirmish, who established this rule setting. Apparently, if six players, has to be at least six players to drop out of a match or lag out of a match to actually include or actually force a remake, which means that players have to then back out if they know another player has actually been lagged out to actually enforce the rule, which is crazy, right? You're at a top pro event and if one player, even if just one, two, three, up to five players back out due to lag or some, some in-game bug and not enough people actually back out to force the remake, the rule will not be reinforced and in a terrible, terrible situation to be involved in, especially when you have a very well-noted player like Nicky Merckx lagging out of the game and it's definitely not his fault. It's pretty incredible that people actually and players respected him enough to know that he had lagged out. They choose to back out to try and reinforce a remake of the game, which in all fairness is very fair, it seems. And according to Cloaksy, six to eight people actually backed out along with Nick Merckx to try and reinforce the rule, and ESL did not remake the game. That is that's pretty astonishing to say the least. And then Nicky Merckx, I already showed you guys a tweet. He comes out and says the uh, although the, the slew of issues, of course, with the event, you know, the headsets along with the in-game uh, issues, the bug, the lag, it just goes on and on and on. And it does take away from the overall results of this. Although I will still say, Ghost players are looking insane so far throughout 2019. Um, Liquid Boys are definitely suffering. TSM has a new rising star besides that though the game itself to me just, as, just seems to be going in the reverse direction. So hopefully going to get some issues fixed out here as we enter the early stages of Season 8. As always, my name is Jake. I hope you guys all enjoy this very short breakdown, which turned out to be a bit longer than I thought it was going to be. But as always, I hope you guys all enjoy Fortnite news. I will see you back here next time. And until then, goodbye. <laughs>